Looking at the workspace setup configuration file, this gives you the option to set variables, create folder standards and things specific to a workspace. And then when you set those variables and you add those things, it will be so like in the previous video there, I have my company or I have the A dot configuration. So if I were use the workspace setup configuration for the A dot configuration, add folders, resources, set the variables, everything, it will be specific to that A dot one or I can do it specific to the uh, my company one. So as we see here in the um, video, you'll see that you can, and that workspace configuration is, you can edit that with Notepad, Notepad++, or any other text editor. You can open that, set the variables in there as desired, and let's watch the video here. Here I select the A dot configuration from our network. I go to the workspaces folder, A dot, go to the standards folder, and in here I go to my DGN lib. This is where I've added my styles DGN lib to this folder. I go back now to the standards, go to SYMB. I've added my font resources for this workspace, and I go to the workspace setup config. And I open it with Notepad, and I add the variables at the bottom there to load my Symbology and my DGN lib. So, as I stated there, then you can open the workspace setup config using the uh, Notepad or whatever text editor type, you know, program, anything that allows you to open that and make the edits. So, at the bottom of the list is where I added my ms underscore SYMB RSRC, which loads our resource files, our RSC files, so fonts, line styles, anything with that RSC extension. And then I've added the DGN lib list variable here as well. And as you see here, I've used the append operator, which using the append allows you to add this variable to anything else that's existing. So as we deliver MicroStation in our config files, we point to the ms underscore SYMB RSRC variable to load our delivered fonts, resources, and, and those things. And as well, the DGN lib list, same thing. Whereas, depending on what you do there with the operator, the append, prepend, equals will change what it does there. If that was an equals, which is one thing that we do get calls on where people will be missing their fonts and a user says, oh, you know, I can no longer see this or that font. Sometimes when we look in here, we see that this has been set to an equals. And surprisingly enough, some people think, well, this equals that equals that, and, and it makes them all the same. Equals does not do that. Equals says this variable equals this, and it's done, and, and it does not load then our delivered things or, you know, that variable set from other configs. So depending on where it's set and how it's set can control that and limit that what actually gets loaded. So again, you want to pay attention to that. At the end, you see here, I use the asterisk.rsc, asterisk.dgnlib, means that with the asterisk there, anything with that rsc extension, anything with the dgnlib extension in that folder will get loaded. and so now you're picking up your custom fonts as well as our delivered stuff. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.